Three days of action in the books for Florida State Baseball here now. Three hacks after that series against Maine. Number one, the first thing to take away is that the Bulldog is still barking and biting for the Knolls, and that's Drew Parrish. His season last year came to a screeching and heartbreaking end after surrendering a walk-off home run to Mississippi State in the regional, coming back from a two-and-a-half-hour delay during a rain stoppage. But he had five innings of scoreless, no-hit pitching, and that means that he's definitely ready to wear that mantle as Mr. Friday Night for Florida State. Second hack, how about these for real freshmen? Nander DeSados had some great moments at the plate and in the field for Florida State in this series against Maine. Then you have Elijah Cabell, who struggled a little bit on Friday but came back with his first collegiate hit on Saturday via the home run against Maine. He also showed some great range in left field. But how about Robbie Martin? I'm going to go ahead and call him Ribby Martin, the freshman being the less heralded of the freshman class for Florida State. Nine RBIs on the weekend, including five in the series opening win over Maine, means that the future is definitely bright for Florida State. Final hack for me is checking off all the boxes. Florida State will undoubtedly get much more of a challenge once ACC play starts here in about a month and a half, but they accomplished about all you could hope and want for against a team like Maine. Florida State was able to work a no-hitter. They were able to win a doubleheader, including one in walk-off fashion, then come back Sunday and keep their foot on the gas. The bullpen, meanwhile, showed to have numerous options. Guys like Connor Grady, Jonas Scalaro, Clayton Kwiatkowski showed just how capable they are and then you've got some closers Chase Haney that's supposed to be his role he did a pretty good job on Friday you could say and then Tyler Ahern on Saturday threw some gas I mean there's one pitch that literally clocked 101 on the gun here on the board at Hauser now that was probably a little bit generous but still it shows you just how capable he is next up for Florida State they'll get on I-10 and they'll head east to Jacksonville where they'll take on Jacksonville University Mike Martin stands nine wins away from career win 2000. They'll be back at home Friday for a three-game slate against Youngstown State. Reporting for War Chant TV, Maslon Hudge of Andy.